Fi here, and today I'll be talking about another song from my new album, Timeless Truths, and this song is called uh, Leap of Faith. And I'll be demonstrating uh, some techniques that I use uh, in guitar solos, mostly pertaining to the use of the tremolo bar. And for the song, um, the low E string is actually tuned down a whole step to a D, which enables me to play full uh, uh, bar chords. <laughs> very lush chords that are cool to play. The main riff of the song goes like this. So you can notice the oriental uh, scale and the feel uh, in the song, which goes on really uh, to the lead section or uh, the guitar solo section where I wanted to incorporate a little bit of uh, higher notes in the riff instead of just playing it on the lower strings. Uh, and I came up with this riff. <laughs> Which is not uncommon, and a lot of hard rock riffs uh, may, you know, may use that. But for the most part, mostly they use lower strings, and like the E strings or even a B string, like a seven strings, and and, and it will sound something like. <laughs> which is, you know, good too. But I just wanted to experiment a little bit with more flavors in the, uh, in the riffs, and that's why I added the higher notes. I switched the D to a D sharp or a D and D sharp on the seventh fret along with an F sharp and a G and add a little bit of vibrato to it and that's how it sounds. And the palm muting um, that's going on in between those notes really just charge uh, uh, the riff with more energy and gives me the, um, the, the ambience I'm looking for in the lead guitar. Uh, so I can uh, play a more uh, aggressive solo or a fast solo, if that's to say. And now the scale, again, is, is more of an oriental scale, uh, which is like this. us to the uh, to the tremolo bar and uh, the tremolo bar is really uh, a nice tool that can open a lot of possibilities for your lead playing and uh, the way I think about it is that I you is that I can use it before a note over a note or right after a note for example before a note you can depress the bar and get to the to the designated note like this <laughs> or over a note where you can vibrate that note wide vibrato on the tip and a more subtle vibrato uh, if you're using it on the bass. Or use it after a note where you can do all sort of crazy things like uh, uh, dive bombs or even harmonic dive bombs. But what really would be interesting to do is uh, to couple the use of the tremolo bar with other uh, um, well-established guitar techniques that um, we commonly use, such as uh, legato picking, which is mostly hammer-on and pull-offs like this. <laughs> So if you uh, use a tremolo bar with that, for instance, at certain interval, intervals, it'll add more accent to the uh, lick that you're playing. So let's try that with an ascending uh, scale lick. <laughs> for a descending lick, for that matter. Another example would be uh, a short uh, uh, 
phrase or lick that I used in the solo of Leap of Faith, and I will demonstrate that without uh, the use of the tremolo, then I will use the tremolo with it so you can contrast and compare the two. Now with the tremolo bar, so you can uh, really appreciate how it colors the lick altogether and it gives it a more unique sound uh, rather than just playing, you know. Uh, the notes uh, together that may sound more like an exercise. So this makes it, you know, more flowing and more uh, 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 uniform, if that's to say. And that's Leap of Faith.